So you want to learn how to start making digital products so that you can start earning 10K per month from selling your digital product online. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how you can create a digital product using Canva and selling your product on TikTok and other social media sites so that you can start earning passive income. Now, before we jump into the video, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can get more money making opportunities just like this. Now, if you're not familiar with what a digital product is, this is simply a product that is created electronically and sold electronically. It is not a physical product. So an example of a digital product would be an ebook. So if you create an ebook and you sold it to a customer online, they would download your ebook to their computer or phone, making it a digital product. Another good example of a digital product would be a subscription service. So it's not a physical product, but it is a digital product, something like Netflix, where you pay a subscription and you get the service. Now that we know what a digital product is, now it's time to think of a digital product that we might want to sell. This could be an ebook learning course, a digital planner or pre-made templates, something that you're good at and knowledgeable in that you can sell as a digital product. My go-to digital product to sell is creating ebooks or digital video courses to sell to people that want to learn different things. This tends to bring in the most money for me, but you can create any type of digital product that you choose. Now that we know what type of digital product that you're going to create, now you need to go ahead and think about your target audience. So if you're targeting young adult males between the ages of 25 and 35, you want to make sure your digital product and your advertising resonates with that target audience. So now that we found out what digital product that we're going to sell and what exactly our target audience is, now it's time to go ahead and create that digital product. So the website I normally use for creating digital products is Canva. It's easy and it's free to use. You can use Canva to create eBooks, journals, printables, anything like that you can definitely use canva and you can use it for free so if you want to start using canva to create your digital products i'll go ahead and leave a link to sign up with canva so you can go ahead and start for free now once you've created your canva account for free it'll bring you to a page like this and all you have to do is type in ebooks and it'll bring up a list of templates free templates that you can use to create your ebook and i'll just go ahead and choose one to demonstrate how you can edit this ebook into your own personal digital product as you can see, I can go ahead and customize this template. I can change the photos to whatever photo I want to use in my ebook. I can change the font, um, add in my content to make this personalized how I want it to look. All right, now once you're done customizing your digital ebook product, you can go ahead and download it directly to your computer. All you have to do is click on share and it'll give you the option to download. So what you want to do is click on PDF so you can download it to your computer as a PDF and easily share it to your customer. So now that we've created our digital product, the next thing you want to do is find a website to host your digital product on. So I tend to use Shopify to host my products on. I mean, there are other uh, websites or web hosting um, websites that you can use, but I like Shopify the best because I've learned how to use it. So I've just stuck with using Shopify. So Shopify does offer a trial for $1 for three months. So if you want to go ahead and host your uh, product on Shopify, I'll go ahead and link it to this video so you can go ahead and sign up. All right. Now, once you're logged in and signed up to Shopify, you want to go ahead and head over to products and add a new product. So here you can add your title and description and a photo of your digital product. All right. And once you've added that in, you can go ahead and price your product. Then you can go ahead and save it and then we'll move on to the next step. Next, you want to go to the Shopify app store so you can download the digital downloads um, software to your Shopify store. As you can see, I just typed in digital downloads so I can download whatever digital app that I want to my Shopify store, but I already have one on my website, so I won't download another one. I'll just go to the one that I already have to show you how to upload your product. Now that we have the app downloaded to our store, what you wanna do is go to that app and go ahead and find the digital product you wanna link your product to. Once you click on your product, you'll see an option to add a file. All you have to do is click add a file and it'll take you to where you can upload your file. Then you can go ahead and hit save. I did forget to mark it as a non-physical product so i'm going to go back into the product description and change it to not a physical product 
All right, now that we've linked our digital product to the Shopify store, what you wanna do now is go ahead and create a Linktree account so that you can connect your digital product link to your Linktree. And you can be able to promote your product through social media using the Linktree. All right, once you signed up for Linktree, it'll take you through the sign up process of adding a bio, a photo, and creating a template or however you want your Linktree to look. So you just go through the steps so now that you've went through the steps of setting up your link tree, all you have to do is add your product link onto the link tree. So, so you can send customers directly to your link tree. So if you have other social media sites, things like that, you can also attach that in your link tree so that you can get people to follow you or sign up for other services or things like that, that you might offer. All right. So once you've got your link tree all set up, now you want to go ahead and try to promote your product on social media. So what I did, I created a TikTok account and an Instagram account. So I know that you can't put a link in your TikTok account unless you have a thousand followers, but you can link an Instagram account to your TikTok. So what I did specifically was create a TikTok account and an Instagram account and link them together. So when I made a video, I can tell them to click the link in my bio. Well, click the link up to my Instagram bio to go ahead and check out my product until I get those thousand followers. Then I didn't need to direct them to my Instagram. But if you already have enough TikTok followers, then you won't have to use this method. You can just link your link tree right onto your profile. So that is it guys. And this is how you can get started selling digital products on TikTok or any other uh, social media website to start making 10K a month or more. You just want to make sure you stay consistent. Make sure you keep pushing out those videos on TikTok, maybe two to three times a day just to build your following up and make sure you're making good quality content targeted towards your group of people that you're looking to sell your product to. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you like the information that I shared today, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you in the next video.